Yo guys, Mystic here, and welcome back to another Scorby Hero Slayer video. He's back. He's back. Now today we are going to be using Hercules, which is one of the new DLC skulls in the Dark Mirror. Now, as you can see, we've got 129 bone fragments. So we can get this guy upgraded to Legendary literally after the Yggdrasil fight, which is perfect. And for the items we are rocking, we have the standard issue sword, the car lane insignia, the broken dagger, and the solar sword. Now, I know it has been a few months since I have played Skull. Well, literally since the DLC came out. I've just not really been in the mood to, you know, record it, post it. But now I'm back. I want to play it. I want to get some videos out for you guys. So if you do have any skulls or runs that you want to see make sure you drop them in the comment section and down below and whilst you are in the comment section down below you might as well give this video a like and subscribe if you are new here because it really does help the channel out now i did forget to say if you don't know what hercules does here or what's his actual name uh ascetic what he does here basically his whole moveset is revolving around grappling so that's what his lt and his rt do so if you grapple an enemy, you basically have, uh, you come invulnerable, you deal so much damage. I don't think you stun them, but with his normals, I'll uh, show you where I've done this. On his third normal, it is a grapple. You then get a tick in that bar just below your HP. And what that does is it gives you invulnerability. And I think it gives your grapples extra damage. Luckily, it does get a lot better when he does get upgraded into legendary. It is also really hard to do with Yggdrasil here because you're not really meant to do it with Yiggy. Like, you can't want to do it with people who are on the same kind of surface as you. But like this, it's a little bit odd. But we can uh, we can always try our best to get through it. Let's uh, grapple with that. Luckily, that actually does have uh, quite a long range. I think it's the Cobra one. But I am going to shut up and actually just try and win this because we are taking quite a lot of damage in this Yiggy fight. So I'll be back in uh, two seconds. Two seconds later. And uh, there we go. Yggdrasil is dead. Didn't really take too long, actually. I think it took about 10 seconds after I tell you I'll be back. But now we can go ahead, open the chest. I would love some decent. And you cannot complain with one of the best physical quintessences in the game, Shadow Knights. But what we can do now is actually go ahead, get this guy upgraded into Legendary. Just after we've bought... Uh, what do we want to buy? I think we'll probably go for silent cries and we're also gonna get shorthand because we are literally doing damage to everybody next to us and obviously with relapse or silent cries should i say whenever you use a skill the other skill gets a bit of cooldown off of it all right let's go ahead or red sky into legendary and here we go we now have the absolute so nothing's really changed about him except his uh, skills now do more damage and you can get two charges on the boar chase. Uh, and Hydrosland just is a shockwave after it. The only other thing also is that his Herculean damage. Every time you pick uh, strength up, you get 20% now to a maximum of 40. When you reach maximum Herculean strength, well, they get they get you further enhance your grab attacks once you reach full Herculean strength, is what I should have said. I'm confused right now, G. And what we're going to get in this item room, we're probably going to take it no matter what. That is a little bit of HP, and you know what? We're just going to actually pop this in here, we might as well. Make sure we just take literally zero damage. Nice, we'll destroy that, get a little bit of HP. I think it's probably 10 HP back. Uh, now, the only thing I don't like about this guy is literally just the fact that he, he is a power skull. Just because in the Dark Mirror, I always like to have them uh, two dashes... But the one good thing about him is that he does have a lot of invulnerability in his skills. So if you can get some uh, skill cooldowns, you are loving life. I uh, will take the bow here for some crit damage. Uh, I would love a little bit of courage if we could. Uh, we will go ahead and actually get the hand of destroy here. Increase physical and a little bit of stun. Um, we're also going to re-roll up here to get an item. If it's not going to be anything, we'll just go to the legendary. And it looks like the legendary, it is Riff Mark's Feather. Not really too useful unless we get something like Bomber. Then it might be uh, okay. And it's gone. But not really going to be going for it. What the hell just happened there? I have no idea, but people died 
very quickly, we're going to activate the Shadow Knight. I've no idea. Of course, I was not looking that way. Sometimes this game, it's a little bit buggy with them things. Yeah, I was not expecting uh, all those purple dudes and the big dude to literally just die in one hit, the uh, hammer guy. Maybe this guy's doing a lot more damage than I thought it was. I mean, his grapple did just one-tap the uh, Gatling gunner, and it's not like he doesn't have a lot of health. Oh, yeah, I can't really attack him. I mean, that was a lie, to be fair, because he just got bodied. I think most of these uh, the DLC skulls are meant to be, like, extremely good for their own reasons, because they are obviously a DLC. They don't want them to be uh, terrible. Uh, we're going to have to get out of the way to... Gatling Gunners, but I think out of the, f the three of them that I'm used, I think I like, I think it's Thor's going to be my favourite, then Hercules, and then the God of War is probably the worst one in my opinion, and then I haven't used the King, I think it, it's probably King Arthur, and then whoever the last dude is, uh, with the Sword and Shield. Alright, well, enough chatting about that, we are on to the Legendaries, the Legendaries, the Archers. And guys, I do want to hear what are your guys' opinions on these uh, new DLCs. Are you lot liking them? I would love to know. And saying that, the hero is literally nearly dead somehow. I don't really exactly remember doing that much damage to him, but I mean, we take it. I guess the Herculean strength and the grapples are actually doing quite a bit. I don't want to get hit here. We're just going to run out of the way. Yeah, we'll let him uh, get his ultimate move off because we'll just uh, come in, hit a yeet, and yeah. Not really doing too much there, are you, pal? Yeah, the grapple hits him. Yeah, everybody's dead. Oh, this is good. Whereas Poldman's will take, get a bit of defense, and same with the gloves. I mean, it's courage. I'm not going to say no, and uh, more crit damage. We actually will take this instead of the Raven Monarch's Feather. Thank you very much, Arklitch, for the bones. Ah, it's so good. That is really just going to upgrade our totems. Or, you know what, do I... I got him so early, do I want to pair him up? I've never actually properly used shield. Let's give him a go, you know. I know this is not the build for him, but I'm going to upgrade him anyway, because why not? He's a physical. We got the bone fragments early. Let's uh, change things up once in a while. He is looking mighty fine. What's he got? Shield charge, shield smash. Only attack one, constant. So you, you want concentration with this guy. You know, while concentrating, all attacks from the front are nullified based on the HP of the barrier. Physical attack increases by 30%. I mean, I just kind of wanted an extra. It'll be cool. We'll probably do, do a bit of damage for us. We're going to collect the map, but I'm not going to go there anyway. All right. Let's keep collecting bone fragments. We probably will for most likely the rest of this run, in fact. Yeah, those big three. So that's what the ultimate grappling is then, I assume. Was when you use those three skills in a row, back to back to back. Also, when you've got uh, max Herculean strength, I'm mixing up the God of War and this guy together. But when you've got max Herculean strength, you do that grapple. That is, ooh, that is looking good. Especially with the, is it the Hydra grab we've got? All right, let's make our way up. We should be fighting the sisters soon after this, uh, after the next few rooms, I assume, because we have already killed the adventurers. Wouldn't mind getting to the sisters nice and quickly. Uh, we don't want that. Thieves is quite cool. But with that each attack, uh, we could go crit with this guy. Yeah, I'll take thieves. Uh, we've already got that. We'll get rid of the standard bow. I think we will do also. We'll reroll for these final five items. That could have been nice. Curved dagger. Crit's equal poison. Yep. We'll get rid of the insignia. Or the broken dagger. Never mind. Uh, lunar ring. We do have the Solar Sword, don't we? We do. All right. Uh, well, we've got Fulgent Dawn now. We'll take that. Again, some big upgrades from the shop here. We'll take that attack speed. And nothing else in here. Let's get out of it. Back to some Skull Rooms. Because if we can get this guy maxed out, that would be quite good. Well, if we get, yeah, if we get Skull upgraded to Legendary before we get... To, well, after we get to the Sisters, literally going into Act 3, that'll be so, so good for us because he will become insanely powerful and then we don't have to worry about uh, taking so much damage from like random guys we can just swap into shield get that nice little bit of uh, defense from him basically this run is just full-on invulnerability especially with this guy and his grapples and the way he plays that was very sick let's uh, swap into shield here yeah we've got the hp barrier oh do you get oh you get it every time you use a skill yeah, he's quite good I mean, we will take him. 
obviously we oh we can get upgrades legendary as well literally 100 bone fragments on all right well we've got sisters now let's go take these out real quick probably just going to save the shadow knights for the second phase the sisters because the first one shouldn't be a problem as long as we can actually do some big damage to the uh lady at the start all right what's happening here guys we'll uh wait for one of them to just fully get her answered and then we can go for some damage Fulton Dawn is gonna activate and not hit any of them luckily we got a little bit of stun damage on them both take the crit just hopscotch over this lady say let's go for the grapple and then just keep grappling nice 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 let's keep the damage going let's just sit her in a corner we'll go for a shield now go for shield bash that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. <laughs> it was nice expecting that from little uh, shield boy over here. All right, we gotta let's activate this for the second stage. Hopefully she doesn't teleport all over the place. We could actually grapple it, and that's what we should do. Right, we want some Herculean charges. I mean, she's actually just gonna be a uh, dead here, isn't she? Like, look at her HP. She's not really doing too much. She might actually die f just from this grapple there. Yeah, nice. I was so confused during that hero fight. Just go in. Well, I mean, you don't complain. We will need this health from the chest and what else? Proof of Fellowship's not bad. We could probably take it over the Insignia. I know I did think... Did I see the Hand of God there? I might have, but... Oh, well. Um, what we're going to do here, we are just going to increase shorthand. We could honestly get... Where is it? Is it Coziness? Yeah, while well, Shield is active, Skill Cooldown increases and Crit Rate increases. That's not too bad we'll take coziness as well i know we are in we are in dark mirror 5 so we probably won't upgrade all these to maximum and if you are wondering why i am in dark mirror 5 i've tried recorded a few videos but because i haven't played this in approximately like six years i'm a little bit rusty so let's go ahead upgrade shield to legendary all right so we have the defender captain now looking mighty fine we're probably still going to take skull rooms here just because we kind of need them, but now he's going to get a lot more uh, shield. Obviously, he gets more, a lot more shield when he actually does his skills and things like that. And then I can't remember what the other one was. I think when his shields uh, disappear, he does physical damage. Now, let's hit all of these guys. We'll swap into shield man here, go for the charge through all of them. All right, we'll drag all these guys in, go for a charge on you. That should kill. It's just all this nullification of damage. Is, it's such a cool run. These boys don't, they don't get hit, they don't get hurt. And Gambler, that is beautiful for the Bone Fragments. Thank you very much, I was not expecting that. Half from Girl in here as well. That's just, honestly, just really helpful if we take any damage from, like, the Golem here or anything like that. Which, hopefully, we shall not. Shield's looking nice, we've got Coziness active. Well, you know what, we're still just going to speak to what We might as well. I know we're at the shop, but I don't want to buy the food. We might as well get it for free. Because she only ever really does give 20% nowadays. All right, so on to the shop we go. we got three and a half case sitting pretty. Do we want anything here? We can't really get too much, to be fair. We will take these bone fragments, and then we can't buy anything. We might want to start taking some item rooms, you know, just because we're looking a little bit sore. That was beautiful, whatever just happened there. We are messing people up. He, he did die on time, thank God. I was hoping that he wouldn't spawn a... Uh, a golem in because I couldn't really be bothered fighting that at the minute. Luckily, the charge should actually hit most of these guys. Yeah, he's just quite nice being a uh, defensive, defensive skull there with a uh, shield, getting us that invulnerability still. I will have to do a video like by himself showing off what shield can do because I've never properly used him. And that is some more bone fragments. That is ninja. That is beautiful. We'll uh, speak to little Gust here, see what he gets. Uh, treasure stone mass not actually one of the worst ones we'll probably take it get rid of proof of fellowship for now I should have taken the item room what am I doing uh, just ignore me it's it's been a long day I just want to get this video nice and done with because I've been trying to get one out for the past couple of hours and it has just not been working for me right we need to dodge out of the way of this dude right then when he gets all his stuff back we shield charge and now it's time for a Big Man to do some damage. Did a golem just... Oh, uh, there there's a golem already spawned. I was going to say, did he just spawn here and die in one shot? He only poked his head out. But no, never mind. He was attacking me from above. 
Alright, final skull uh, mummy. We take that. 100 bone fragments. These. We're going to get the totem. Would it be maxed out? I think we only hit it like twice. So it won't be maxed. But it will certainly be up there. Which is good. Uh, let's just do loads of damage to these guys. Getting all the throws in. And can we get max Herculean? We can't. Somebody's dead. People are dying here. I don't know who. But the hero's not getting hit. Alright, never mind. We sit in a corner. That's just the strat for everything. Don't do not want thieves. Thief armor, should I say? Yeah, I don't I don't want thief armor. Uh Dave Jones, thank you for the bone fragments. Well the totem's definitely getting maxed out now. No, we didn't even touch it. Alright. Well, we are on full HP, which is absolutely brilliant. Honestly, we can just start worrying about items now. We've we've got that maxed out. That's all I really need. If I don't get the other two touched at all, I'm not really too bothered I can deal with that. It's uh, these two that we really want to get solved. Yeah, that uh, that grapple really does a lot of damage. Like, I am not expecting it. Is uh, Golem Man, you're going to let me uh, attack? Or oh, what are you doing? Here we go. We can get the stun off. Is that... Oh, it's just going to kill me in one shot. Is it? Oh, no, it's not. It didn't even, it didn't even hurt him. What is that nonsense? Let's just activate Shadow Knights here to deal some damage. Yeah, this guy's got way too much health. Finally, he's dead now, though. Yeah, it looks like this guy can't really grapple a golem. Well, an ultra one, which is a little bit pants, but... Do we go main in the red horse? No, we're not going antique. We already got rid of our swap. We'll just get rid of Berserker's gauntlet. Let's move on. All right, I just want some physical. I would love a little bit of courage... Or just some physical attack. The axes, anything like that. Just much appreciated. For sure. Oh, you're going to take a lot of... Ah, oh, I've missed it. He's definitely going to summon the, ult the ultra golem here, isn't he? No, he isn't. Come on, we got there in time. Nice. Let's just uh, take out the rest of you boys up here. Uh, from the top ropes. This guy, he's getting damaged slowly, but he is... Not wanting to die. We can grapple through to avoid. All right, final slime. Then we can get out of this place. Thank God. I want to go to Chimera and just get to Act 4. I want to get out, get out of here already. Let's go into the shop. Anything worth spending my hard-earned hard coins on? If there's one bit of courage, we can upgrade it to 4. Uh, I did ask for courage. We do get the Architect's Breastplate. We'll take that for... The disposable syringe, and then can we? We can reroll one more time. Uh, nothing, so we should be able to. We can't even do that. No, we're so close. Oh, we can't lock in fourth courage. That's unfortunate. Right. Let's take the item room. I did remember this time to actually go. So thank you for reminding me. I do appreciate it. Let's activate shadows to kill all the boys. Hopefully, they come from the uh, left hand side to the right. Yeah, that's what we love to see. Should kill everybody, right? Yeah. Nice. Omen chests. I have seen this item way too much today. Way too much. Stop showing up. It's genuinely the only omen item I have found. It will not show up with anything else. I won't get a uh, a masterpiece one, which is what I really wanted. Bit a couple of longing. Nah, can't can't find that. It's just always got to be cheeky little uh, idol of the forgotten. Luckily, we are onto Chimera now. So let's uh, come on here. We'll. Uh, Earthquake, grapple the boys. He's probably just going to die to full dawn, yeah? No, he's not. All right, well, he'll, he'll die to that, so... Run to Chimera. We can finally get out of Act 3. And nothing really good for our efforts. So we're just going to get rid of Master Brawler. Let's move on to the Chimera fight. Hopefully, this should be a breeze. All right, Chimera, my man. Come on. We are going to stay... As this guy first. Let's go for the grapple. Go for the grapple. Go for that. It is a little bit weird because it doesn't really grapple him. But it obviously does. You just can't pick up bosses. So it's a little bit strange in that way. We can hit him with Solent Dawn. Doing a nice bit of damage. Not really uh, taking any hits here. Which we love to see. Stun the boy. Uh, I don't know if that can hit him midair. Looks like it can to be fair. Now we're going for the shield charge. And we've got that activated. Want to be right up next to him when we go for the grapple. Nice. That just takes all that damage away. That is lovely. Unfortunately, we're not really getting the most out of doing the grapples, the Herculean uh, charge, and we got it maxed out. But Kamira, he's not taking long. 
We are doing some good damage here with the boys. And luckily, he should actually be dead, Wolf. The Shadow Knights should definitely finish him off. Maybe Fulgent Dawn will. Nah, it was the Shadow Knights in the end. And there we go. That is Act 3 down. And what are we going to get out of this chest? Hopefully some courage. And you know what? We might as well take the Poison Fang instead of... Uh, we'll get rid of it for the one longbow. Sure. All right. We've basically got... I can't think what the Dark Curse is called. We've basically got Kings there active. All right. But what we will do, let's get Shorthand maxed out. That's all we really need to worry about at this point. All right. We need one more set of bone well one more well 10 more bone fragments so we can get our hp totem fully maxed out because i don't think it is quite yet and then we should be looking absolutely perfect all right we are still going to go item rooms though because we we need better items that is the one problem with this run at the minute i haven't got them big daddy items that you need this run yes yeah, it has it's mainly been about just like getting a uh, bone fragments that's all we've really found to be fair and uh, what we're gonna get in here no no damage come on boys luckily we're, we're getting a lot of money for this so we'll be getting paid out in that way but i would like somewhere else hopefully we don't charge off the uh, map and die and we are taking a lot of damage luckily the shield charge sure is he gonna is that gonna push him off the map that no, i pushed him all the way into spawn never mind i said that would have been beautiful otherwise that should not kill all right, these guys either have a lot more HP than I think they would, or we're just, we just don't have the highest DPS at the minute. The highest DPS is probably the problem. So, ah, uh, we can, we're still doing damage. We're not taking too many hits. So we got, we got nothing to worry about as we get blown up on. All right, uh, we will go skull room here though, because I do want them ten bone fragments. And I'm only ever really gonna get that off an uh, adventurer fight. All right, let's go. I'm going to get these boys up to three before we actually start doing anything. All right, we do have the wolf lady here, which is not too bad. We can get that maxed out, get that going. That's a big hit. Luckily, the crits are going off. Black Seal Dagger. If we could get Gunpowder Sword, that would be working wonders for us. And max HP, can he complain? Thank you, War. That's so many bone fragments. Oh, you love it. You love to see it. Any physical damage increases for your boy. Please, game. Giant Axe. Thank you very much. We are... I think we're going to take that over the Stone Mass now. We've got money. Don't need any more. Uh, crit rate isn't bad again. But, like, we're not really doing anything with the crits. And that's for movement speed. Uh, I think we'll keep it now. We're definitely not going to lock and courage just yet. All right. Let's lock and courage. And then, can we buy anything here? No, we cannot. Alright, save our money then. Alright, so we should be doing more damage now. We've got Courage Max out to four. It's just a quite a very strange run, this. Not the most powerful, but certainly not a bad pairing. We've mainly just got a lot of HP and we don't take any damage, really. So, it's good. That's, it's just what shield gives you. It just gives you health. Oh, I would have loved, loved for him to fall off. Fallen off right there. That would have been even better. I would, I'm going to have to do a shield run in the uh, in the future. So depending on what uh, you guys know about shield, if you got any uh, tips, I would very much appreciate it. Like I said, never used him before. This is the first time I've actually got him to legendary. But the way he's he's been going, he's been putting in some work for me. All right, we got a hero adventurer to kill at some point in the future. Hopefully it goes smooth and it is not the archer. But if me being... Uh, Jinx has anything to say, it's going to be the archer, because, you know, it just has to be literally... Oh, we are actually on the room as well, I didn't expect that. Right, Guts, please just die, thank you. And no good things from that. We do get to get rid of our debuffs. Alright, I'm trying to think, what do we what do we really need? Luckily, we do have four arms, and we do have the courage, so we are doing decent damage. He is only going to last at 10%, and... It's going to be the hero, not the archer. Okay. The rocky hero, really not too bad of a kill. Can do it pretty easily if we don't take uh, bad damage like that and just keep him in place. Like we are now. This is this is going quite well. Uh, we'll dodge through all of you. Uh, grapple him in the wall. Was expecting uh, the Shadow Knights to help us out a tad bit more there, but 
I mean, I guess not. Let's shield charge going for a big bit of damage with a shield here. We can just dodge through all that. There is one more that we need to kill, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this this is ending quite quickly. Yeah, really not expecting a shield to pull these numbers, you know? Saying that, we are still taking a bit of damage. We just want to move away from you, and then we will grapple when the time is right. Let's activate the Shadow Dragons. Come on, that's, that's a bit... Uh, a bit of a shit hit from him. Wasn't expecting him to basically just lock me in a corner and not uh, make me able to move. Him with all the grapples, and there we go, he's dead. He did give us our HP back, though, which I can't complain about. And Samurai, we're not bothered about, let's just get rid of him. Alright, so we can get this upgraded to the maximum, even though it already is. So let's just go physical now. Or do you want to go attack speed? I think we actually want to go attack speed now. So if you were going to... And to be fair, I think we might start taking Skull Rooms again. I want to get these Totems maxed. We'll go... We'll get our attack speed done. We can... You bastard. As if he's just grappling me all the way off the map. I was not expecting that off the shield, dude. That is so cancer. All right. That is going to be the one problem in that floor. I might fall off and uh, kill myself a little bit. Depending on what the rooms are. Luckily, we can grapple up here. Get the big hits in. And is everybody dead? Or is it just going to be you? We'll push you off the edge and you... We'll find out. Nice. Oh, he spawned back down here. I mean, the grapple's going to kill him anyway, so... Give me some frags, Rider. I mean, the 11's not really great. It does add up, obviously. You want to get rid of this totem for anything. Come on, please. Thank you. That is stun. I don't want to jump into his grapple. So let's just bring him over here. Hit him with that. Charge him over into that direction. And... Yeah, my man knows of it. He's, he's, it is basically just like fighting a WWE star. You can't really do anything. Like, you're dead from the get-go. And we do go ahead and actually uh, find King Slime. Now, there is definitely going to be a few things that I want to get rid of. Because we don't have the greatest of uh, items. So I might get rid of the like ultra-terrible ones. I don't know which ones those are, but we will find out. Let's get rid of these bastards first. Open the chest. Nothing in there, so let's get rid of that. Alright. Slime, what are you going to make me get rid of here? I will get rid of the standard issue sword. I'm not going to do the axe. The breastplate, I'm not going to bother about. Hand the destroyer, I actually wouldn't mind. Warrior's glove would be a bit terrible. The warrior's pills I want to keep. I'm happy just getting... I'm happy with any of them, but I'd rather it be a full dawn of thieves. Not really a Warriors Pauldrons or the Hand. That's fine because it's just back to max courage. So I'm actually not really too bothered about that. And we get a 20 HP barrier every time you use a skill. Which works quite well with shield. <laughs> uh, let's push the boys over here. Yeah, the stunning is uh, quite a good quite a good handy thing to use. Uh, luckily you should die. Oh, I didn't want to push you all the way over there. Right. Let's make this uh, a lot easier. Let's just... Get the Shadow Knights out. They'll finish the the Priestess off. And kill the boys in the back as well. Nice. We are heading ever so closer to the Joan fight now. Berserker in the background. Uh, Hand of Glory. Do we want that? I mean, we have a little bit of HP. We are basically at max. That is 120% physical boost. Would we rather have it over you... Or would we just rather lock in courage again and get... Oh, we kind of lock in courage again. Uh, we'll get rid of the Hand of Destroyer for now. Let's pick up the proper hand, Hand of Glory. Yeah, we've got 120 on that. Uh, and we find the ring. Oh, thank you, game. Uh, what do we get rid of? I don't... Uh, well, we could probably just get rid of the Poison Fang for now. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Poison Fang. Destroy you. We can pick up the max health. Nice. That is a big, big power-up for us. That is, like, actually huge. Could not have been better. Could not have found anything better. Hand of Glory, literally just an upgrade on the other hand. The only thing is we don't stun anymore. But I think that's still a massive upgrade to now doing 7% more damage on top of the 50% that we were already doing. So, yeah, it's win-lose, but I, we definitely win in this situation. All right, let's go. I want to kill Joan, not fight weird purple balls. And both of you are dead. Omen chest. I mean, it is a different one. And um, we do get pain and despair. I did ask for attack speed. All right. I think this is where we get rid of the 
Warriors pauldrons. It served us well, but we were doing fine for HP and barriers. Yeah, items are fine. Let's just go try and get the totems upgrade as much as possible now. You're going to die from the statue. Uh, what other boys we got left? Come on. Luckily, a few grapples should just end your life, yeah. Uh, Reroll MC, not bothered about. Let's RT, you're dead. Hydra Grapple really becoming the favoured skill of mine, I've got to say. And Samurai, thank you for your sacrifice, mate. Alright, we've got 89 Bone Fragments. We'll be able to get a lot of the totem upgraded. But we might as well just head up over to uh, Joan now. Like, we're doing damage... We got the HP, we've got the revive, we are looking ever so wonderful. And we've also got the attack speed now, so we'll be able to get the Herculean charges a lot quicker. I don't think Joan is really standing a chance, but we can we can have a look, see what's happening. We're going to use Shadow Knights here, because it is a lot easier just to kill both of them than to kill one of them. Except I only did go for the left-hand side. That might have been a fault of mine, but hey -ho, we'll, we'll we'll get used to it. Uh, shield is just going to end up actually killing this guy. This totem by himself, which is quite nice. There we go. We're not going to have the Shadow Knights for the second phase, which is uh, unfortunate. But what we are going to have is a big old shield bash. And we're going to have the Lion going in. Missing his grapples. Not getting the third time, which is a little bit annoying. Since we miss our RT, uh, that's going to go to the right in it. We're going to try, I was going to say we're going to try and do this hitless, but we've already just taken two hits. Joan, where are you sitting, mate, so I can actually hit you? Thank you. There we go for the third. That's going to do some big damage there. Yeah, she's on what? Two tenths of her health left. She is going to be dead, probably from the final few skills here. If I really wanted to, we could have activated Shadow Knights there, but I thought we'll let Shield finish her off. Let's wait for the fire to die down, then I will actually open the uh, chest for you guys. Let's see what we're going to get. It is always 90% wisdom items I've seen. And to be fair, that is it's two out of three. Uh, we might honestly just get, we'll just get rid of you for the money, actually. Like I say, we might get rid of the quintessence to get the HP, but we don't really need it. All right, what do we want to upgrade? We can get Silent Cries maxed out or you... Uh, we're going to get Silent Cries maxed out. There we go. Coziness probably wasn't the best thing to take, but who really cares? Let's get our damage up because we did find Pain Despair for the attack speed. Basically got it maxed out. Only a three off. Can't complain. Right, let's make our way to Dav. The Shield Bass literally did just get wipe out 90% of these uh, guys here. Let's go to the uh, shop. Probably just going to see if we can lock some in. Not really too much else we can do. And, of course, we find Gunpowder Sword for 3,000. Oh, what would we have to get rid of? So, I would have... We would have to get rid of our 4 Courage to get it. Or I can get rid of our 120 stacks. You know what? We're going to get rid of the hand. Let's pick up Gunpowder Sword. That is going to help us insane. I didn't even see Sue Snow sitting up there in the top right as well. well if we had another 2k, we would have just uh, bought that as well. But you can't... Say no to gunpowder sword with uh, thieves, but still daggers. Like, look how many crits we're getting. Unfortunately, we should have put things into go get, but we didn't know. All right, well, guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, you do want to help support the channel. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you are new here, and make sure to turn on post notifications or that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload next. And for the run we have got going today, we have been using Hercules and a legendary shield paired up with a. Shadow Knight's Quintessence, and then we've mainly just gone like all out damage with some uh, crit from Gunpowder Sword and Thieves Bats Little Daggers, and then Fulgent Dawn is just the physical and a little bit of damage as well. Same with the axe, we've got the support from the ring in with some HP, attack speed, literally everything, and then we've got the maxed out courage with the two breastplates, just giving us the HP barrier, which cannot complain about every time you use skill, basically gaining 20 HP back. Well, nothing much left to do. Let's go ahead, kill Dad. Alright, here he is. We do have the revive. We are pretty much on full HP. I can't really see us losing this fight. Like, unless we do something ridiculously bad. I mean, that was like our main big combo, and that did... It, I mean, to be fair, it did basically like half his HP. Yeah, which which is good. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like saying, oh, that's bad. It basically did half his HP. 
Unfortunately, we don't have a uh, Kingslayer active anymore because we did get rid of the uh, Chimera's Poison Fang Beast. All we're doing is big attack. Unfortunately, I still don't have the timings 100% down with the power. Obviously, at the minute, because I have literally just started up again. So, of course, I, uh, of course I won't. All right, the boy's doing damage. That is out of his first phase. Oh, that was good. I was feeling, I was feeling good there. We just got our skill cooldowns just nice and perfect to keep swapping in and out. I know that means, oh yeah, we could have taken Elder Forgotten. I know I've said I've seen it all day and we found it about twice. But I didn't want to, right? <laughs> we'll take the uh, Sh Shadow Knights for now. Let's hit him with a charge. I don't know if that actually still does a damage to him if he leaves, you know. I assume it would, but you you never know. We'll just dodge through these attacks. Go for a slam. All right, let's wait for the man to move. Now we can go in for the actual like, attacks of what we need to. Oh, that's going to be a lot of damage in it. Unlucky because we're invulnerable. It's not. <laughs> nice. Doing quite a bit. We're already on a, what, half HP? Take a tad bit of uh, hits there, but nothing we can complain about. Let's just keep grappling him in the corner. Nice bit of damage there from us. We can keep doing it. Just keep them LTs going. We then literally just swapping out into the shield is the best thing to do. We'll get the silent cries back. Yeah, silent cries in this guy is, does work extremely well. I am kind of waiting for this guy to do his, yeah, his suck attack. Here it is. You can have some uh, Shadow Knights instead, pal, instead of me. All right, now it's time we damage. Oh, saying that, we got hit twice. If we can, we just want to... Try and grapple. So, no, we still got hit anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore what I was trying to say there. All right, this guy's not got too much HP left. He's probably going to do a big attack and then uh, die, I assume. I hope. Well, I hope he does that. Uh, yeah, let's run him over. He's going to do his big yeah, damage move, but the grapples are going to finish him off. And that is going to be... Well, after he's sucked me up. Two secs. Let me just grapple him into a wall. And there we go. That is the hero finished. So that was our run using Hercules in the Dark Mirror from the new Skull DLC. So I've got a few more characters to actually try out from the DLC and we'll post them probably next because I want to get through all those five new characters first. So guys, if you did enjoy today's video and you do help support the channel, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and this will be Mystic and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.